Men and Chiefs in the Minot Vistas are playing to avoid the playing game, setting up a huge doubleheader between the two teams tonight. Let's go to B and C. Chiefs wearing black, yellows, yellows of the Vistas as their jerseys. Top of the fourth, one Vistas, one nothing Vistas lead, and this hit ball hit right back to Isaac Huddle, tossing it to shortstop, getting the double play and the inning. Bottom of the fourth now, Chiefs threatening with a man on base, but Calvin Watkins ends the threat with a strikeout. Keep the pitcher still going. To the top of the fifth, Dylan Vigas said, with a plate with two on, drops it into shallow left with an RBI single to make it 2-0. Man in with though would come back to win an extra is 3-2. Game two, this is already holding a 2-1 lead. Bottom of the second, Anthony Johnson going to ground one. This is get the out at second, but the double play at first, too late. And this game is tied at two. To the third, great defense from the hot corner at Avery Bogner out at third. And this time he'll complete the double play at the throw at first. But Minot would cash in. Next batter, Trent Greek with a shot down the line. Easily a double. Kersey Harris in to give the Minot the lead. This is hold on to Salvage, a split four to three. The municipal ballpark now. The Bismarck Governor's hosting the West Fargo Patriots for a doubleheader. Top one. One, I think West Fargo Patriots. Anthony Villanueva hits one to the right side. That brings in two, makes it three nothing. Bottom of the inning, though, Gubbs, Colton Schultz, he walks, but the next pitch, he's picked off at first. Nice play from the Patriots. Then in the top of the third now, look at this barehanded grab from Cade Feeney. Nifty gets the out of one, but only the one out. Patriots make it 4 nothing. get the 7 nothing win in game one. Senior night celebrations before game two. Congrats to the five moving on for the Gubbs. Nick Devine on the hill for the Gubbs. Pitching well, getting a 1-2-3 top of the first including that fly ball. Gubbs having a tough time, though, with the bats. West Fargo's Lance Oster striking out the side. These two pitchers playing well to start. Then one mistake, however, comes in the second. Ball skips away, and the Patriots score in a run 1-0, and this would be the score for a while. West Fargo attacks a late run 2-0 in the final. The Dwyer Field, where the Bismarck B Capitals have the Beulah Cyclones visiting. Beulah up 4-3, game one. Tap of the six, Nathan Batest. It's a routine grounder to the third. It's a wild throw to the first. And that scores the runner, making it 5-3. to three. Caps not done. Bottom six bases loaded. Riley Skriner drops one into center to make it 5-4. Caps looking for the comeback. Next batter, Seth Dietz. He's going to hit it over the second baseman's head. That'll score two. Gives the Caps the lead. Crazy back and fourth game. But it's the Cyclones get the 10-8 get the win in eight innings. Game two going to Bismarck. 1-0. Let's whip around the state looking at the scoreboards. Bismarck Senators win a couple wild games in Dickinson against the Volunteers. Over in Hayes and the Astros take down Watford City in a doubleheader. Up in Garrison, the Titans down the Mandan A's in a doubleheader. And over in Dickinson, the Sabredogs and the Big Sticks lock it up in ninth inning at six apiece.